Hello everyone and welcome back to another ESL podcast. Of course, this is your host, Arsenio, arriving back from Bangkok. And now I am here to do some more English language learning for all of my learners around the world, baby, baby, baby. So, let's get into this. Vocabulary skill. Identifying word families. Now, what do I mean by word families? Well, let's look at it like this. Uh, caution. Uh, cautious. Cautionary. Um, what is it? Uh, determine. Determiner. Determined, uh, there are, you have the base word, you can have prefixes and suffixes that change the meaning of the base word. This is also very, very good for those of you who are studying TOEIC around the globe. So, as always, of course, everything is on the ArsenioBuckShow.com. I see a lot of people from China, Taiwan, Egypt, and everywhere listening to me. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. So, without further ado, you can actually, if you look at it like this, okay? If I say enjoy, enjoy is a verb. However, if I put the suffix M-E-N-T at the end, it changes the verb into a noun. So... Actually, before going into this, I want to notify you guys right now, if you want to do the exercise by yourself, stop my podcast and go to the ArsenioBuckShow.com so you can do the exercise and then come back and listen to see if you've answered correctly. So, without further ado, we have verbs, we have behave, celebrate. Clean, decorate, experience, harvest, honor, prepare, settle, symbolize. Okay? And with the nouns, you can change it. So it goes from behave, which is a verb, to behavior, which is a noun. Her, her what? Her behavior. Just like her shows a possession. So that's a possessive adjective. Her, my, your, his, etc., etc. So, her behavior. You cannot put her behave. All right? Her behavior. Her behavior what? Her behavior was very, uh, very abnormal. Abnormal is, a, well, if you add a B as a prefix to the front of a base word, it changes the meaning. So, Normal is normal. Abnormal is opposite of normal, meaning weird. So, verb, behave, noun, behavior. Celebrate. Okay, that's a verb. I celebrate. Huh, what, what holiday do I ce uh, celebrate? Because remember, this is in regards to the podcast I've done before. So, what holidays do I celebrate? Oh, my God. Uh, New Year's, no. Uh, Christmas, not often. Fourth uh, of July, no. Uh, Valentine's Day, absolutely not. Uh, oh, man. You know what? I celebrate being alive every day. How about that? I celebrate my micro wins in life and my macro wins in life. I celebrate when someone gives me a smile. If they smile at me, I say, oh, yes, I'm celebrating today. Just as I was running this morning, a woman began talking to me, a very beautiful one, out here on the streets of Bangkok, the first time, and the first of its, first of its kind. And I, you know what, that gave me so much more motivation going forward, because all of these women were looking at me like, oh my god, this is one of the biggest Greekest goddesses. Well, actually, gods of all time, and so I celebrate just about everything. I celebrate the oxygen. I celebrate. So, now you understand. I celebrate. I celebrate. You celebrate. He celebrates. They celebrate. She celebrates. It celebrates. Remember, you always have to add the S depending on what type of verb it is. The S, the E-S, the I-E-S, the V, the V-E-S. Remember, always remember that. Now, going forward, we have verbs such as Let's put clean. 
So clean is... Sorry about the volume, guys. I just realized that the volume was probably a little bit low. So anyways, I put the volume back up, so hopefully this is okay. I don't know why the volume was very low. So here we go. Anyway, so... Clean cleanliness. Okay? I like to clean my condo. Alright? Cleanliness is... Oh my god. I don't really... Uh, I don't really, her cleanliness is, uh, yeah, cleanliness is just a little bit weird for me. So I don't use it often, okay? Decorate, and then decoration, okay? The decorations are gorgeous. Decorate, I love decorating for Christmas. Experience, okay? Experiences, I experience such an amazing trip, okay? Now, experienced. That's the past tense. There are, again, it's all about conjugation. So you guys can go ahead and do the rest of that, of course, on my blog, as usual. And there is a little bit of an exercise at the bottom for you guys. So I hope the audio was okay for you guys. If it wasn't, I do apologize. Um, but as always, I'm trying to get my next interviewee from Mongolia on here. You know, I've always wanted to talk to someone from Mongolia, speak to someone from Mongolia, because no one knows about Mongolia. So if I can get her on, you guys will know as soon as possible. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Stay tuned for more. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. Tune into my website for the exercises over and out.